It's been proven that most users dislike creating and remembering passwords to interact with your site or app. Indeed, surveys have shown that more than half of them will walk away if you ask them to do yet another sign up. Well, why is this? One reason might be that the more times they give out personal details, the greater the risk of them being fished. Now, the Canadian government recently released statistics on phishing, showing that 156 million phishing emails are sent every single day. And of those, 16 million will get through spam filters. Of those, 8 million are opened. And believe it or not, 800,000 of them will have their links actually clicked on. And of those, 80,000 people will give up personal information. Per day. Now, all of this is motivation for us to provide you with the best possible technology that lets your users use an existing account to be able to sign into your app and to make the API as easy as possible. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and I'm going to show you how you can sign in with Google to your Android app. If you're familiar with Google Play services, you'll know all about the Google API client. And until Google Play Services 8.3, signing in with Google meant connecting to this client and handling a bunch of exceptions for things such as account pickers or app permissions. Well, it's much easier now. And with the addition of the new Google Sign In Options object, with this, you can specify the scopes that you want to access. And in the vast majority of cases, it's just as simple as this, requesting the email scope. Once you have this object, you then pass it to the Google API client in the Add API call. And then you create an intent using it like this, and when it gets a result, you just simply start an activity for it. This activity will get a Google Sign In result object back, and from it you can extract user details such as their email address or their Google ID. When they run your code, they'll see this. When they sign in with Google, they'll be asked for the account that they want to sign with, and then they'll be simply signed in. It's frictionless, it's easy, it's secure. Most of all, like I said, it's really easy for you to build. It's also extensible, and you can use this technology to validate your users on your backend servers. That'll be the subject of my next video, but until then, check out the Google Developer site for more details on building applications that sign in with Google.